What about R dotted with T? Do I have a beauty for that? What are we going to do next? Well, because we have this, we did R dotted with B. Then there is R dotted with N. What about R dotted with T? Do I have a beauty for that? Thanks to this, we realize that this integral would not depend on the arbitrary origin. But we can apply the same idea and ask for R dotted with T. I can't believe this beauty was naked this whole time. Uh, R dotted with T and R dotted with N. Okay, so those are the ones we'll consider now. So, R dotted with T, I will use the existing template. Again, like you guys have been emphasizing, closed surface only. R dotted with R prime, so now it's just one prime. So by the time we get here, it's just R dotted with R, that's prettier, right? And then here, the prime goes from this term onto this one. We move the derivative from this term onto this one. And so, once again, for a closed surface, this drops out. Right? Do you, see, do you guys see where this is going? But now this is t. And now you realize that it, the integral equals minus itself. Because it's a wonderful expression where you where when you throw the prime from one term to the other, by commutativity it's the same term, except with a minus sign. So the integral equals minus itself, and therefore equals zero. I count it as a beauty. Okay, and therefore it joins the list. Mm -hmm.